So guys, you don't know I'm back again. Today we're gonna talk about 20 tips and tricks that you can use if you're trying to lose weight. You see me? Now, I know that for many of you guys, this is a very, very, very important topic. Like you guys would want to know like some tips and tricks. You see me that I used, you know, in my journey as well, that can also help you. You see me? All right. So, first tip is use a smaller plate. Now I know for many of you guys, this might sound pretty, it don't sound, you know, but it makes sense, trust me. Using a smaller plate will literally like help you too much with it. Like obviously the first way it will help you with is just smaller portion sizes. You don't know. The smaller plate is, it, it plays a mind trick on you. You're not gonna lie, sometimes it does. Like it doesn't make you, you know, it, it's not gonna make you fear as much food. So use a smaller plate. Second tip is reduce the temptations of food that you have. Reduce them around you. Meaning, if you know say when you open Instagram, you're gonna see the food from the, the first thing you see on your timeline are gonna be food. And follow the page. If you're going on an explorer page and it's beer food, if you we know some we know right now. If you're going on an explorer page, a beer food you're gonna see. You see me? And follow the food page them because they serve you no good if you're trying to do it. Drink plenty of water. Everybody knows say water. You know, you can't you, you can't go wrong, you see me? Health benefits include clear skin. People drink water. They not they normally have clearer skin than you know people who don't. You don't know water is essential as well as keeping hydrated. The place hot. You don't know. Drink the water. Read the nutrition labels. You see me? When you get food and them thing that anything you're going to eat, I do this personally. People look for me more. Where I like if I'm in the supermarket, I literally look on every single bread bread brand that there is and like look at the nutrition label and find exactly what I'm looking for, you know? I mean, everybody might be looking for something different, but read nutrition labels. But commonly, that things that you should look for, low sugar, um, high fiber, high protein, you see me? Low cholesterol, no dyes and them thing in bread and... The alcohol, the alcohol does not work out. You know, it's, it carries a lot of calories and if you're trying to lose weight, that doesn't really help you out, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, so next time when you think about taking up that extra shot or drink, yeah, you might want to not. Less refined carbs, meaning that bread I was talking about earlier, yeah, you probably don't want to eat that when you're losing weight. But, um, yeah, focus on whole foods, you see me, so we're gonna talk about foods that are, you know, they, you see them, they grow. So, yam, the banana, the pumpkin, the, you know, the potato, you see me, but everything in moderation as well, you know, you see me, not too much of that because too much calories is, is not going to help you at all, you see me, you're trying to lose weight, remember that. Eliminate liquid calories, meaning at this point in time, you would have picked up the point that you should be drinking only water, you see me, or at least mostly water. People don't even realize most of the time but the calories that you drink you really do add up at the end of the day so it's just best to just drink water you know and it's very good to practice that habit water water you see me so no liquid calories so no juice no soda no beer no al no alcohol you see me water is the way to go simplicity will get you there plan ahead plan your meals ahead if you know you're going to not be able to eat as the whole you'd want to you know if you can't stick to if you know you're going out and your place where you're going does not have food that you're supposed to be eating i suggest you eat before you're going and explain to the people um, why you know or you find something on the menu that is even close to what is there that you should be eating if it is not i do uh, please do not order it and eat little bit just just don't don't do that you know just just get it right from the start plan ahead you see me plan ahead find other people find people with the same goal that you can get motivation from you know finding other people who is doing the exact same thing as you will help you in so much ways you see me if i know a man who's trying to lose weight both of us are trying to do it. I talk, text him every day, don't know, take picture of our meals, send each other, you know. But yeah, take the stairs. This might sound very simple, right? Most of the times you come across some very interesting options in our day where whether or not you might have to take the elevator or the stairs. While the elevator might seem very convenient for you, my friend, as I said, if you're trying to lose weight, please to take the stairs, you know. The steps and the calories do count. Yeah, take the stairs. Invest in a food scale, you see me? All right, so me personally in my whole journey a food scale really helped me a lot because one is very accurate you know when you're in this game accuracy is very important you, they, they, you can throw yourself off by just not having the correct amount of something or you know too much of this too much of that will put you in a bad position but yeah the food scale weigh out your food use apps like my fitness pal or 
calorie counter app yeah there's so many of them you can find you must can find one of them use the food scale um google how much grams of protein is in this that 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 you know it's all in the internet you can find out all of this information and make your make your food choices properly is in it incorporate more fruits and vegetables in your diet okay so this one right here you don't know incorporating more fruits and vegetables naturally is going to um help you out with fiber you see me fiber is very important for you know getting rid of um the un unnecessary stuff in the body and yep, fiber is important as well as micronutrients if you're trying to lose weight most of the time people tend to cut out foods out of their diet and cut out a lot of stuff so to continue getting nutrients you should continue eating fruits and vegetables and all those stuff you know or take supplements but it's just better to get best it's best to get them from your natural source you see me but yeah go to bed early you see me this might seem like a very it don't seem it don't make sense but it makes sense trust me going to bed early it's literally self-explanatory if, if you're sleeping you can't eat you see me most people tend to have problems with eating at night i used to have that problem too but it's just simple dog try to drink as much water because water keeps you full most of the time as well but yeah try to go to bed early because the earlier you go to bed you're, you'll be sleeping you can't you can't be eating if you're sleeping you see me find ways to make your food taste good meaning of course most, of pe most people think that when you're eating healthy or something on the healthy path or trying healthy diets or whatever, the food don't taste good. No, this is false. This is completely false. You know, as a person who is cooking, right? You want your food to taste good. So you're going to figure out ways and, and, and techniques and tricks and stuff. So Google, you know, find different recipes. You see me? You, there are recipes which taste good. You yourself, you know, you, you know the flavors that you like. You can spice it up a little. Add a little extra this, extra that. But at the same time, you know, making sure that whatever you're adding or, you know, taking out does not affect the calorie count or quality of the meal which you are going to have you see me focus on think of it this way i i tend to think of food more as fuel rather than for the taste you know yeah so quality of what you're putting inside of you over the quality should matter more than the taste the way how i see it at this point like you know pre that way pre do not completely cut out all the bad things out of your diet you see me I advise that you should, you know, make them in smaller portions at, for, at start. That when, you, when you're first starting out, do them in smaller portions, you see me? Because totally eliminating them, it might work at first, but trust me, when that relapse lick you, yeah, trust me, I, I've tried getting rid of all the bad food, you know, and then I've had times where I just eat bad for a week straight, you see me? And it's like, I don't know, but at the end of the day, you know, we all start back, we, we all mess up, we all have to start back from somewhere, but it's all a part of the process. So yeah, get in a gym or start doing activity, physical activity that will help you burn calories, you see me? At the end of the day, when you're trying to lose fat, the crucial part of it, or losing weight at all, you know, this includes fat and muscle and water, you see me? It's all about, comes down to calories in versus calories out. You want to try to burn more calories than you are consuming, you see me? Um, how you do this is either through weightlifting, cardio, or reducing calories within your diet. But, I mean, make a small swap on your grocery list the next time you go. Meaning, next time you go to the grocery store or the supermarket or whatever you call it, you know? Try to, let's say you, you want to pick up a, I don't know, this is probably not a good comparison. But you want to pick up the chocolate bar, you don't know. But don't pick it up. Just pick up, let's say, instead of the chocolate bar, try, try an apple, you know? <laughs> yeah, try the apple. I advise you to try the apple instead of the chocolate bar, you know? So yeah, make small little changes in your diet like that at first. If you find it hard to, you know, completely you know get into a groove and then over time you know you build that sort of getting the mentality and lifestyle you see me but yeah as i said finding others on the same path i mean this is basically just finding i mean you might find other people at your gym or around you who are trying to lose weight or whether be trying to lose fat or gain muscle or you know just find a common find somebody with a common goal that you guys can work together or multiple people and then yeah success in, is, in, is inevitable at that point you see me do not skip meals okay do not i mean most people think say yo if you want to lose weight just stop eat you see me just stop eat and no no just no don't do that don't do not do that that will only make any that will just make life harder for you you see me one when you do that when you start to skip meals you know your body goes into what you would call survival mode you see me when you're in survival mode your body does the complete opposite of what you want it to do you know you would want it to be losing fat and you know burning energy and doing what it's tell you what you want but that's not what's happening bro when you're skipping meals in reality your body is trying to hold on to what is it what it has you know so it's trying to retain the fat 
retain whatever you're trying to get away so yeah i suggest low calorie fiber dense food meaning i don't know find a salad or find another way to, to to fill you up but at the same time you know um satisfying that hunger so you don't know we've come to the end of the video um i hope you guys took down notes easy me these tips here are very valuable i i, I made this list literally off of just thinking about stuff that i was doing or wanted to do while i was in my weight loss journey easy me yeah if you reach this part of the video you don't know like comment subscribe share um yeah just expect more videos like this but yeah only good things to come Big up on yourself every time and I'm out.